you may remember a story we talked about yesterday that sounded like a scene out of planes, trains, and automobiles about a group of 13 strangers picked to live in a house, just kidding, <laughs> uh, who rented a van and drove from Orlando to Knoxville after a canceled flight. Take a look at this. So me and a bunch of strangers in my family, we decided to rent a 15 passenger van and ride back eight we hours to Tennessee. So meet the gang. I, my name is Lexi. My name's um, Robin. My name's Q. My name is Seth. Hi, I'm Adolf. Hi, I'm Johan. Hi, I'm Amy. Laura, Carlos, Michaela. I'm the farm babe. I'm Renee. Hi, my name's Kelly Young, and we are having a road trip to Knoxville for 10 hours. Can't wait. I like could not love this more. Today we're getting the inside scoop straight from the source. We've got three passengers from the legendary carpool here with us. Welcome Alana, Michelle and Amy. Hey. <laughs> Man, I love this story too. I'm going to start with you Alana because Frontier canceled your flight and the next one wasn't for 48 hours. So whose idea was it to rent the 15 passenger van and assemble the group? Yeah, so real quick, it's actually pronounced Elena. Um, but so I do know that Michelle and Amy kind of uh, pitched the idea to the Frontier desk. And at the same time, my mom and Carlos and his family were having the conversation as well. My mom actually rented like something for us to go back in. But then everyone kind of heard everyone talking about it. So it was kind of a collective. <laughs> All right, now we're going to get into this because when we talked about the story yesterday, I straight up, I could not believe that, that you guys were going to get in, into a van with a bunch of strangers. You were a hater. For 10 honest. hours. Yes, I wasn't a hater. I was like, I don't know how y'all did that. I wouldn't have done that. So, Michelle, talk to me and talk to our audience. Tell us who was in the crew and was anybody as nervous as I would have been? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was funny you mentioned that because as we were walking, there were these two guys I was talking to that clearly were European and their names were Johan and Adolf. And they, so I was like, where are you guys from? And I was expecting them to say like Denmark or something, you know, and instead they go Mexico. <laughs> and I was like, oh great, they're already lying to me. So for a second I was like, yeah, okay, this isn't getting off to a good start. But it was funny because then they were like, no, really, we're farmers in Mexico. And then it comes to, come to find out we were going to the same conference. So I I was a keynote oh. speaker for this agriculture aviation event and so we were going to the same place so then i was like oh these are my people these are farmers oh you're and the as farm we got to talking, <laughs> it's amazing. yeah yeah okay. i'm like a public speaker advocate for farmers but the more we got to know each other we were all different but we all just got along really well and it it just worked out that's unbelievable. I, Alana, I want to apologize, Elena. Elena. Yeah, I want to say it's Elena, not Alana. I apologize. I hate when people get my name wrong, so we wanted to offer you that when apology. When people get Tori wrong? They say Tori. No, Tori. They, they okay, okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Amy, <laughs> you uh, just arrived home in Mexico after days of traveling. How has this experience been? Has it been what we picture, like, really uplifting, or are you like, I needed space? Uh, at this point, I'm just really happy to be home on Cozumel. Um, we crossed yesterday at one of the most dangerous border sites to cross in all of Mexico. Oh, wow. And it's just been one thing after the other with flights and dogs. And literally, I've done trains, planes, and automobiles. I literally have. Um, but bonding with these people, these 13 people I didn't even know, was just amazing because it was, we all just gelled. There was, nobody was like, turn off the music, or nobody was like, I need this or I need that. Everybody just joked. We had one thing to do and we got it done. That's amazing. So I'm curious, when you were doing this, did you know it would get this much attention? And why do you believe that people are so fascinated by this story? And I want to hear from all of you on this. Amy, you can go first. I really had no idea. I was like, you know, somebody should do a TikTok or YouTube or something because this would be funny to watch. And then as I was watching it and I was reading the comments as, as Carlos was driving, the comments just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And after a while, it was 3.2 million people oh my had viewed our little video. And I was like, whoa, I didn't even know TikTok did that. But I had no idea. And here I am in Cozumel, Mexico, and <laughs> talking to you now, and I'm getting ready to go somewhere else. And I'm just like, wow. Like, <laughs> It's uplifting. It's really great. I think it's great that people can come together like that and 
we need to hear some good news in our world. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it resonated with people because you guys in that van it got to what we aspire to be as a country, like a bunch of people that don't look like they belong together, but you gelled together and mm -hmm. found commonality. And I think that's what resonated with people. So I have to ask you guys this. First of all, who was in charge of the, uh, of, of the radio? Like whose playlist were we listening to? We actually didn't listen to much music. We were too busy talking about our TikTok. That, <laughs> yeah. There you go. I Check think those the numbers. Section, yeah, I think the comment section was the most fun. Like we were just laughing and like just restoring our faith in humanity because people just loved it. And everybody was like, we need an update. And people could relate to different characters and they all wanted an update because people were like picking their favorites and like creating their own storyline. <laughs> It was so funny. I really feel like it should be picked yeah. up as a reality show with these 13 it. people. Yes. Don't you? I'm I, here for it. Yeah. Let, let's talk. Let's talk pitching after the show. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle, Elena, and Amy. To our viewers, if you want to recap on the van's journey, you can always uh, find Elena's TikTok at Elena Story 21. We'll be right back. Thank you all so Thanks, much. Guys, you're awesome. Thank you. Bye.